We respectfully acknowledge the land on which, on which we gather as the ancestral homelands of the Biatok, whose culture has now been erased forever. We also acknowledge the island of Ochtahumguk as the unceded territorial territory of the Biatok and the Mi'kmaq. And we acknowledge Labrador as the traditional ancestral homelands of the Innu of, N of Natasanan, the Inuit of Natasavut, and the Innu of Nunatuavut. We recognize all First Peoples who were here before us, those who live with us now and the seven generations to come. As First Peoples have done since time immoral, we strive to be responsible stewards of the land and to respect the culture, ceremonies, and traditions of all who call it home. As we open our hearts and minds to the past, we commit ourselves to working in a spirit of truth and reconciliation to make a better future for all. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Big Drums Are Calling, a fusion of Indigenous and non-Indigenous voices raised in celebration. My name is Robert Colburn, and I am the choral director here at Holy Heart, and I will be your host for this evening. In May of 2022, I attended Podium, Canada's national choral conference, and had the pleasure of attending a sharing circle with Miss Shannon Thunderbird. Being so impacted by her openness, her caring nature, her talents, and her willing to share and teach, I approached her simply by saying, hi, my name is Robert Coburn and I want you to come to Newfoundland. <laughs> to which she replied, okay. Tonight marks the end of a one week residence, residency for Shannon and Kate where they have performed and engaged with close to 4,000 students from Gander, Bay Roberts, and schools in St. John's. They engaged in a community workshop, choral rehearsals, a teacher professional learning session, and of course, finally, this concert tonight. I must acknowledge the tremendous support and the very generous support of the Bruno Center for Excellence in Choral Music and their director, Ms. Amy Henderson, who financially supported this entire initiative. I'd also like to thank Ms. Georgina Lake and Mr. Shane Welcher from the Newfoundland and Labrador English School District who worked alongside Shannon, Kate, and I to plan this week. Another exciting part of this evening is that the proceeds from ticket sales and the 50-50 draw go right back to the Holy Heart Food Program. As part of our new partnership with Farm to Cafeteria Canada, Holy Heart will produce local food from local farms and food distributors to be offered to students in a salad bar, a hot breakfast, or as a hot or bagged lunch, regardless of their individual ability to pay. The goal is to get more healthy local foods on the minds and plates of our students. Thank you to Miss Becky Windsor and Tanya Edney, who have worked very hard on promotion for this event and who are spearheading the food initiative. Speaking of 50-50 tickets, did you get yours? 
when you came in. If you didn't get yours, there is another opportunity as we will be taking a short 10 minute intermission um, following uh, our children's choir. Our first act this evening are recipients of the 2016 Arts NL CBC Emerging Arts Artist Award, the 2019 Music NL Indigenous Artists of the Year Award, and most recently have been named the 2020 ECMA Indigenous Artist of the Year. Please join me in welcoming the members of Eastern Owl. Hello, everyone. First song that we're gonna sing is called Our Song. In English, it means, um, you are the land on which we have not walked softly. We give you the promise of our voices. With this, may we heal. Honored to be here this evening with such strong and powerful Indigenous women from all over Canada. It's always a great pleasure to share the stage with, you know, uh, the youth that are coming from our communities and to teach them in some of the ways. So just want to thank the women who are visiting for teaching our youth this week about the drum. I know they said that they taught over 4,000 kids this week, which is just incredible. So let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> We're some of the members of Eastern Owl. Typically, there's seven of us, but we're a skeleton crew tonight. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> but we're, uh, we're a mighty small crew. Yeah. Um, we're going to sing a song that honors uh, the children and the survivors of the residential school system. It's called Mijawajij, or Baby. And uh, this song um, was inspired by stories that we have heard from our community members as they um, went through their healing process. We honor the stories by offering up a prayer. And this song um, says the word baby in the three indigenous languages. 
in the province, in Nututut, Inuamun, and Mi'kmaq. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, somber narrative, but we hope that the song offers a message of strength. <laughs> got a short little set for you tonight, so we're going to do one more piece. Um, <laughs> this song is about eels. <laughs> um, it actually honors our, uh, a place that we all love and a lot of us call home, Yabagek First Nation on the south coast of Newfoundland. Has anybody been there? Con River? <laughs> Woo! Con River. We all try to go there, you know, during the powwow in July and Anyway, my dad lives down there, and he was just visiting St. John's, actually, which he always finds, like, he's a fish out of water in St. John's. He's like, why is there so much traffic? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're learning. So when I go to visit him, he likes to take me um, to the river, and he likes to uh, eel. And I don't really know much about it, but I like to sit there and watch him. And so this song is uh, the eel song. And you know, it basically says like I honor, I honor my dad, I honor Con River, and um, I honor the eel. Me walk nooch, me walk it Me water make me out boogie. 
Thank you, everyone. Have a good night and enjoy the show. Let's keep it going for Eastern Owl. In the past few months, the next performer has performed for the king, the pope, and now for you. She's accompanied by her daughter, Annabelle, and pianist, Leslie Hayes. Please give a warm welcome to Canada's first and only Anouk soprano, Diantha Edmonds. from Nunatsiavut, the ancestral homelands of the Labrador Inuit, um, where our family comes from. So the first piece we're going to sing, my daughter and I, is uh, Nutakasuk Immanuel. It's um, a really joyful, bright duet, usually sung leading up to Christmas time. And uh, we are really, really excited to share it with you. So we hope you enjoy. No Thank you. 
next song I'm going to share with you is called Saimati Gut Jesusi, which is another um, sacred classical piece from Nunat Siavut. Um, it is an evening prayer. Uh, it's a very warm, peaceful song, and I thought tonight would be a lovely time to, to share that since the, um, this evening is so special and so much of it has to do with our hearts and how we take care of them and each other. So this is Saimata Gutti Susi. Thank you. I'm very honored to share this next piece with you. It is the anthem of Nunat Siavut, um, Sons of Labrador, Labrador Mute, uh, a very special arrangement by Leslie Hayes, who, has, um, who is accompanying me this evening, and how glad I am, and how grateful I am. Yes.
Let's keep it going for Deantha Edmonds and Leslie Hayes. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Deantha. It is my pleasure to now introduce our 100 Voices Children's Choir. These students come from schools across the Metro St. John's area. They sing in St. Bonaventure's Elementary Chamber Choir, uh, Shalloway's Dolce, Vivo, and Nobile Ensembles. And tonight, they're singing together for the very first time. You get to witness history in the making tonight. We are so happy that uh, these children were able to join us tonight. Um, Shannon and Kate, uh, when they first, they first approached me um, about having a children's choir, uh, I said, ah, listen, you've come to the right place if you want a children's choir. We have lots of children who sing in Newfoundland and Labrador. So Shannon and Kate are going to be accompanying them, and this is the first time they will ever have performed uh, and rehearsed, really. They had, you know, two seconds out in the choral room in, in uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, so without further ado, I bring you uh, Shannon Thunderbird, Kate Dixon, and our 100 Voices Children's Choir. They're doing this cold. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> and wait until you hear them. It is just a heart grabber. All right. Myself because I'm beautiful. I respect myself because I'm beautiful. I'm really proud because I'm really cool. I'm really proud because I'm really cool. I don't give up, I keep on trying. I don't give up, I keep on trying to lift myself up. So love who you are and what you do. So love who you are and what you do. Cause every day there is something new. Cause every day there is something new. Don't be jealous and don't blow up. Don't be jealous and don't blow up. That way you feel your loving cup, 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 cup. So have a good day. So have a good day. So have a good day. Let's go out and play. Let's go out and play. And have a good day. 
good day. Your turn. So have a good day. Let's go out and play. So have a good day. Have a good day. One more time, let's do it. So have a good day. at my sister and thinking that is going to be a tough act to follow. Okay, that was two for two, okay? You guys are fabulous. All right, this uh, song is called Today, and again, it is a call and response, okay? Today I'm going to dream. About a world of love and peace. About a world of love and peace. I say hey to be gentle. Hey to be gentle. Hey to be patient. Hey to be patient. Hey to be sharing. Hey to be sharing. Hey to be caring. Today I'm gonna 
You can probably see why I walked up to Shannon and said, you need to come to Newfoundland. We are going to take a short 10 minute intermission. Um, and just a reminder, in case you have forgotten, which I'm sure you have not, that there are 50-50 tickets on sale in the main lobby. So uh, we will be, it's just a 10 minute quick intermission. So we'll be starting back in just 10 minutes. Thank you very much. My cheek, Tom Bowie, can spay where I be. My cheek, Tom Bowie, I'm piggy. My cheek, Tom Bowie, can spay where I be. Mumpy wah, hoka ye monk. To hone to ni kai tai. Ji wei bei yi tai. Nang kayat ya muni e wajit say. Nang kayat. Ya Muni, what you say? In English, a hundred years have passed, yet I hear the, the distant beat of my ancestors' drums. The drums they beat across the land. The drums shall beat, so my heart shall beat, and we will live one hundred. Thousand years. Give me tai, nang kayat ya muni e what you say? Nang kayat ya muni e what you say? Nang kayat ya muni e 
what you say. Yeah. Oh. Good evening. My name is Sagooks Gwaan Akshwa Gwadzuk. You'll get the written test later. <laughs> it translates to first light of dawn. And as I am wont to say, most of the times with our names, we have to get up at dawn if we have that in our name. I've always wanted noon. <laughs> <laughs> My English name is Kate Dixon. Nada Willowan. Say it. Nada Willowan. It just simply means hello. Or it also means good morning, good afternoon, and, and good night. I, that's the language. The language we speak is Simulgax. My name is Wasmayin Suits Samtihana in English, Misty Morning Thunderbird. My English name is Shannon Thunderbird, and no, I was not named after a car. <laughs> I'm going with the idea that the car was named after me, and I was here first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this next song called Listen to the Earth and Sky is dedicated to the Lieutenant Governor Judy Foote, whose heroic efforts came to build uh, a beautiful garden at Government House. And it's called the Heart Garden because there is a very large heart in the middle surrounded by all the bushes and oft time the, the vegetation that Native people survived on. So it's very significant. She dedicated this to the children of residential schools and the survivors. She wants very much for you all to come and visit, if you can, and spend some time in the garden on the benches, sitting very quietly, and giving of your hearts and giving of your compassion, and that way we heal the country.
let's hear it. <laughs> How these uh, fabulous singers learned this music was with Kate and myself. Um, we are from Toronto, and um, we are Coast Chimchan First Nation. We're, we're originally from northern British Columbia, but we live in Toronto now, and we drove here. <laughs> <laughs> Yipper, 2,300 kilometers one way, people. And the reason that we had to do that were these, <coughs> the two big drums. Yep, that's, that, that was the only reason that we had to do that. So this song, and, and what we did in, our, in my garage, was to record the songs and send them to Robert, who then converted them. <laughs> <laughs> to music, and the and the choir learned them before we got here. I mean, yeah. So they are nothing short of fabulous. Absolutely. So this one, and they're singing in indigenous languages, by the way. And in this case, the song is called Nisa. It is a Seneca song, and the translation is Winter Moon Creator is Everywhere. It is sung in the Seneca language. Nisa, 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 Gaia way, oh, Gaia way, March 27th last year, 2021. The bones of some of our children were found in a mass grave on a former residential school in Kamloops, British Columbia. Since then, over, there's been about over 12,000 bones have been found most of them in the four western provinces. Nine days or ten days later after those bones were found, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning and with the song and the words and everything in my head, and I got up and I recorded it, and this song is called Lost and Found. <laughs> through the trees 
dying children on their knees. Where have you gone? I love you. Please come home to me. And a small voice whispered, it's okay now. You found us. You found us. Thousands of children's bones in the ground. Deep reaching pain for so many. Lost to the ravages of evil. Cries unheard for years and years. And a small voice whispered, it's okay now. You found us. You found us. Apologies won't save the day. Death of babies far outweigh. Pale words that came a hundred years far too late. And a small voice whispered. To scam how camps and hoss and a small voice whispered and the small voice whispered it's okay now you found us Cam Wowsk Dipiet you found us. Toyak, Toyak, thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate that. Uh, I think that was, I'm a songwriter, and I think that was probably the toughest one I've ever done. However, what we're going to do now is uh, get down and boogie. If I'm missing, missing spirit, I go to find it with creator. If I'm missing, missing spirit, I go to find it out in nature. Yeah. 
Are these, are these, are, they win awards. <laughs> they're that good, they're so good. All right, well, we're down to, oh, your turn. <laughs> so this is a call and response called the Mother Earth Marine March. Hey, uh, okay. Attention! so I don't forget. I so badly want to be a newfie. You know. We've been having a wonderful time traveling around St. John's, and we were also down in Gander, and uh, the accent is just killer. I, I just, my sister, who actually is, uh, does a lot of different accents, can't do it. <laughs> I think that was a challenge. I got, um, okay, I have a touch of laryngitis, all right? You may have noticed. <laughs> but I was told by uh, this woman that I would probably, um, uh, given my age, <laughs> really, <laughs> be eligible for a crib boat. Crib boat. You got to go. No, she said to me, oh, just am I getting it wrong? You got to. We can put you on a crab boat. I said, what? She said, you'll be on a crab boat. Crab boat, am I getting that right? <laughs> anyway, I told my kids and grandkids back home that I wouldn't be back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it here. <laughs> but uh, we're happy to welcome you back up on the stage. Um, before we close it, I want to say a, a very big thank you um, to Shannon and Kate for their incredible work with our students, our teachers, our community members, and of course, organizing this concert for us here tonight. Um, to show our appreciation, we would, yes, thank you. Let's give them a big round of applause. <laughs> and
And to show our appreciation, uh, we would like to present you with a little token of our appreciation. Presents. Presents for you. I love presents. Presents. <laughs> presents. I'll be right there. I come from a... <laughs> Ooh. Thank you. Toya. Okay, it's not ticking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just put it down here for now. All right, this is uh, to conclude this evening that went by really, really fast. Um, this is kind of a four in the floor, big time vocable, which means in English, a vocable would be do a deer, a female deer, ray, you know, that would So when we're doing uh, way hey, so it's way hey, ya, ah, hey, ya, ah, hey, oh, it, it means traveling, because this was written by a Zuni elder in southwestern United States, and it traveled all the way across the states and up into the Maritimes, where I learned it from Maggie Paul, Potawatomi, and I learned it from her, and has since gone all over the place, and most, most indigenous people know this song, so it's really, really simple. You want to sing it for them? I'll just give you a little. Way. Oh. Way. Hey, ah. Hey, ah. Hey, yo. Again. Way. Hey, ah. Hey, ah. Hey, yo. Way. Hey, ah. Hey, ah. Hey, yo. Way. Three, all right, one.
Thank you, everybody, for coming, and have a wonderful rest of your evening.